at stamps i am mr spark and today we are going to make adding big numbers super easy okay let's test your speed skills first can you solve this math problem in just 10 seconds so the question is can you add 468 and 132 in less than 10 seconds come on no calculators just brain power okay no cheating can you add both of these numbers together in less than 5 seconds or 10 seconds no tricky no worries i've got a shortcut i can do it okay uh 468 uh okay 470 and 132 is 130 uh answer is 600 tada i did it in less than 5 seconds you can check your watch do you want to learn the super quick and super fun technique mr spark will help you with this okay so let's get started and write our first question 468 plus 132 we need to add both of these numbers together so step 1 is rounding both of these numbers to nearest 10 so if i need to round off 468 to nearest 10 can i write 468 as 470 because i am rounding off 68 in this entire number 478 to nearest 10 and we get the answer 70 so the entire number will become 470 similarly we are going to follow the same rule for 132 as well can i round off 132 to nearest 10 to get the number as 130 sound simple and interesting since 30 is more closer to 32 so can i write 132 as 130 right Now now step number 2 is simple we just need to add both of these numbers together 470 and 130 see our question has become so simple and easy calculation is so easy here 600 super quick super fast and super fun don't you think so so basically this is the estimation technique which helps us to make our addition sums much more faster so what we generally do in this technique is we try to find out the nearest round number to the number given and then we try to add both the numbers which are given to us in our question together to get our answers okay this technique is super fun and quick you can try this technique out in all the question where estimation or approximation is required to get the final answer so now what is estimation and approximation you must be thinking about that where you need an estimated answer you don't need the entire whole answer you just need an approximation approximated answer right uh, maybe you can say a nearest answer to the given question right you can use this technique there okay all the very best try it out